How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. Vinny here and today uh, we are putting in a harness bar for the truck. So as you saw in our previous videos we put in some NRG FRP 310s or 311s uh, racing seats in the truck and uh, I'm building a custom center console and the factory seat belts just aren't going to work the greatest so I'm going to put in a harness bar. Um, that's basically going to be a short term thing until we can eventually cage the truck because obviously the more intense we go with this, the crazier it is, the safer I want to be. So this truck definitely needs to get caged. So this is just kind of a short-term option for running pretty much four-point harnesses. So we're going to be installing that. The problem is, is no one makes a universal fit for this truck. Uh, I believe the distance is like 56, 52 inches, something like that. And all the universal ones are like 49. I saw a company that makes one and I'm just not super happy with it. Uh, it was very expensive, basically. Um, so we're going to make uh, one of those universal ones work. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to get that done. Um, but uh, like I said, this is temporary until we can cage the truck. So we're going to show you installing a harness bar. Alright, so here's our harness bar. Like I said, it is a 49 inch universal one. I will link it in the description down below. Got it off Amazon. Um, it's just too short. These bends don't even go around the seats. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm finding the exact center point. Okay, so the basic idea is I found perfect center between these two points. So what should be the perfect center of this bar. And I'm just going to cut it in half. And I'm basically going to find a tubing that is the same ID as this OD. That way I can sleeve them in here. So basically you have our tube of metal here and these will get inserted into them we'll have drilled holes and we'll rosé weld or rosette weld whatever it's called and then you know obviously we'll do a bead around the outsides um, and that should basically secure this back together but it'll make it wider so these aren't obviously going to be perfect where they are but it'll make it wider and it'll make good contact surface and should firm this up and make it wide enough and like i said this is a temporary option until the truck's connection Alright, so I'm back in the truck and I got my PRP four point harnesses in. Um, but right now I'm going to start taking the plastic trim apart and getting the old uh, factory seat belts out. That way I can start mounting up the harness bar and figuring out how much length of tube I need to fit that gap. Um, I've decided I'm going to use a tube about four feet long and I'm going to sleeve it inside of the um, harness bar. That way I can use that whole piece and it should really stiffen it up a ton more than just sleeving it over that section in between the, the hoops. Uh, it should make it way stronger, so we go ahead and mount it up and figure out that gap. That angle is filming out was terrible, but this is basically the internal mechanism. This could go up and down, but this one we're gonna bolt into, and we're gonna bolt in down in that hole there, and then bolt in up there. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go make this bracket small or drill a shorter hole, and we'll go from there. 
So pretty much got it all mocked up, just waiting on that connecting tube. Um, but what I need to do now, I need to do now is get uh, basically this trimmed out of the plastic. So I'm just gonna take my oscillating tool and just clearance away a little bit at a time until I got a decent pocket for this upright to uh, feed through but still keep the factory plastic trim. All right, so I went and got a couple different hardware options. I uh, went and got some short bolts and the factory ones because uh, the factory one has this really awkward sleeve on it. Let's see, but also the other option is I got a bunch of washers that perfectly fit this sleeve and I'm thinking about just fitting those washers over it and still using this. So uh, we're gonna try a couple different things out, but uh, ultimately I think I'm gonna try and use this with the washers, um, but if not, get this other hardware that'll work. Okay, well, problem with doing all these stacked washers is the washers hit that hit that part of the bracket right there. So uh, I'm gonna go and flatten out these washers with the uh, bench grinder. All right, so I got about as far as I can get. Uh, still need to clear that out, but that's pretty quick and easy. Um, so I figured out on this side, is I'm going to clear inside out a little bit less. I'm going to bolt this up, and then I'm going to thread this rod onto this after the fact. Um, it should just be a way cleaner install. I'm going to try and figure out some way to cover up that hole with... I don't know, I'll figure something out. But uh, pretty much just waiting on that connecting tube at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this whole thing. Get that plastic trimmed out just a little bit. Get at least those bottom bolts tightened up and then uh, go from there. All right, so as you can see, we got in our piece of tubing. Um, you see it's much thicker, so it's gonna, gonna provide more support than that did. So this inner wall is just over inch and a quarter. So this ID is inch and a quarter. This OD is inch and a quarter. So perfectly sleeves over. I will have the uh, parts listed in the description. I got this piece of metal from Amazon. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what our length is. I'm thinking this four foot tube shouldn't need any real, uh, I shouldn't need to cut it down. I should just be able to kind of slide it to where I need it. And if I have to cut it down, I can, but that's going to each end of the bends right now. So, and then from there, these will get bolted in. And we've got a nice, sturdy, secure harness bar. So, we're gonna go ahead and weld here and here. We're also gonna drill holes in this, and we're gonna do a little rosé weld. That way there's just more points of contact, more sturdiness, so uh, I'm gonna take this out. Well, I'm gonna get our measurement, and I'm gonna take it out and weld it up. All right, so, got it bolted in. Um, Definitely makes for a snug fit in the back seat. Um, there's so much space back here that eventually I would like to switch out this rear bench to something else, but for now it's not terrible and it just kind of gives you a place to hold on to. But you just gotta be careful if you don't smoke your face on it. But uh, we've got our points where we need to weld the tube and how long we need it. So we're gonna go ahead and take this all apart and weld this up and then uh, I'm probably gonna get some uh, foam protectors to just wrap around this, so it's just not just bare metal. So, but uh, got this in, so we're gonna go ahead and unbolt everything and do some welding. So for those of you who don't have a welder, um, the other recommendation I can make is just running bolts through. So you drill through obviously this surface and this surface, and you just run bolts through the two. It's not ideal, I would prefer welding it together, but if you don't have a welder, that is an option for you.
moment of truth. We're gonna go uh, see if we can uh, fit this in the truck. And boom, just need to tighten up this bolt and that bolt. But uh, got this bad boy together. One side is definitely tighter than the other. Than the other. Yeah. That'd have to be adjusted, but... Ugh. Well, you can pull those straps tighter, too, <laughs> on the front. Yeah. Well, it's just, you know... Yeah. How's it feel? Do you feel snug, secure? I do, actually. This makes me much more confident. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. You know, if we roll, I'll stay in one spot. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I need a roll cage <laughs> that way. There's a bar hooping over you, but yeah, yeah I think it looks good. I think yeah. uh, you just, you know, need to throw on those heat waves to really, uh, we well, can slide the, the but uh, I think uh, yeah, you need you need your actual heat waves to really sit in this truck. Okay. But, but, yeah, <laughs> looks good. Cool, cool. Okay, so we have our harnesses in. Uh, I decided to go with some PRPs. Um, I trust them, they're a good brand. They're the seats I wanted to go with. Not quite in my budget right now, so uh, I decided to at least get these harnesses for now. Um, so we got the PRPs in. Don't have the driver's side in because I am still working on the center console and I actually gotta pull this seat out anyways, but I already had it out. Didn't wanna throw it all back in. So uh, yeah, this is how we made an $80 49 inch universal harness bar work in my GMC Sierra pre-runner. So I'm super happy with it. It's not perfect, but uh, for you know $100, $110 in total material for that harness bar, super happy, like it worked out perfect. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we're gonna keep working on the center console, videos to come with that. So much more to come to the truck, I cannot wait to get this all finished up and get back on the sand dunes, get back out on the trails. This truck is so ready to rip this summer. So if you wanna see all that, hit that subscribe button. If this video is helpful, hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section down below. All the materials that we use for this will be in the description of the video. Go ahead and check those out. If you buy something from Amazon, it helps us out with the channel through our Amazon affiliate link, so please go check out those links. Once again, I'm Vinny with Caswell Customs, and I'll see you in the next one. You stole my